And here's your top seven before seven as you head out the door. First off, John Scalzi's first alert forecast for this Monday morning. Yeah, it looks pretty good for us as you take a look at the uh, Lakewood Ranch webcam. We got a lot of blue sky out there to greet the day as dawn breaks, and I don't see much in the way of anything that'll bother that sunny forecast for the afternoon. Not much in the way of any kind of rainfall across the region either. A few scattered showers well down to the south, and the upper level clouds may blow a few of those uh, upper level winds may blow a few of those clouds our way, but basically it's sunglasses and sunscreen as you head out the door. We'll look for sunny skies today. Only an isolated inland shower possible. And don't forget, we're always available to you with forecasts on our first alert weather app and on social media, mysuncoast.com, Facebook and Twitter. Back to you. John number two, checking first alert traffic. Some early buildup there as you go from Ellington toward Palmetto on 301. Some congestion there. Also getting across the Green Bridge into downtown Bradenton. And then checking the upper half of northern uh, Sarasota County. We'll find out there's some small delays there around the uh, 41 301 junction and also down at 41 southbound as you head towards Stickney Point Road. And number three, just in time for the start of the week, the SunPass online payment system back up and running at 9 o'clock this morning. It means you can pay tolls and put money back on your account again online. Number four, President Trump is now hours away from sitting face to face with North Korean leader Kim Jong Un. There's a 12 hour time difference with Singapore. So Eastern time, that summit begins tonight at 9 p.m. And number five, calling all fishermen. Florida's red snapper season kicks off today. This year, the season comes at the same time as snapper season in both state and federal otters. waters. If you want to do it, you just need your recreational saltwater license and your Gulf Reef angler licenses. Happy fishing. Number six, today is the last day to vote for Lee Com Park. Ballpark Digest Magazine has announced the home of the Bradenton Marauders is a finalist now in their online poll for best high A minor league stadiums in Florida. Well, this seems like the perfect segue. Number seven, it's the strangest national anthem duo that knocked it out of the ballpark. Stephen Colbert, St. Pete native Patrick Wilson, teamed up to sing the anthem before the Mets-Yankees game over the weekend. And it was good. By the dawn's really good. Light. What so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright They were singing, Colbert and, and Wilson were singing <laughs> in front of the Mets uh, Yankees game as well. Yeah. Oh, wow. And people actually booed them when they first came out on the field. Now, Wilson, Why? he's got a long Broadway history. He's been nominated for Tony Awards. He's in the Wilson Van Band with his brothers here in St. Pete. Colbert, he sometimes sings and skits on a show, but I think people forget Wilson's singing background and people didn't think that Colbert could sing at all, so they're like, these guys can't sing. 